Hello everybody. In today's video, we will continue with the assets properties and talk a little bit about the grid and selection in Multiverse Designer. Let's start with the snapping tool where you can select an object, you can change the way it interacts with the grid. For instance, you can have no snap to move it freely. But if you want to make it snap in the grid so it can move in a modular way following the grid or even make it snap to objects, this way it will stick to other object surfaces. Holding the arrows and the page up and down, you can navigate your object in the map with more precision. If you want, you can hold control key to do it a little bit faster. Using continuous arrows, you don't have to click each time. Just hold it and it will move smoothly. You can also change the height of an object using the red arrow above it to move it up or down. And by dragging the gizmos, you can manipulate the object to change its shape. To rotate it, you can press G and H. Alternatively, you can use the properties in the asset. And if you really want to rotate the object in any direction, you can use the arrows to manipulate it using the arrow rotation in the bottom menu. If you find it hard to select multiple items, you can group them to move and duplicate them quickly. This way, they will share the same selection. Talking about multiple selection, you can see that we have a yellow and blue box when one item or more is selected. The blue selection is used as a pivot and you can change by clicking on the item you would like to be the pivot of your rotations. Thanks very much for watching. This video has tons of information about the game and in the next video we will show you more about lights and ambience in Multiverse Designer.